Hello everybody, and a very warm welcome to LMT YouTube channel. Meghan Markle was reportedly frustrated by the palace silence in her voice. Americans across the country cheered when Prince Harry decided to marry you. As born actress Meghan Markle, making her the first American princess of this generation. While most Americans celebrated their union, however, many staunch supporters of the monarchy apparently weren't so pleased with Prince Harry's choice. The UK media were brutal to Meghan, Duchess of Sussex, and tabloids were filled with thinly veiled racist remarks against her. This led to her and her prince famously stepping down from their royal duties and dropping their royal titles. Now it's been revealed that not only was Meghan understandably hurt by the tabloids' remarks against her, but she was frustrated by the royal family's response as well. Who is Meghan Markle? We know Meghan ended up marrying into the royal family, but she wasn't just an ordinary citizen before that either. Meghan has been acting since she was a child, but her big break came when she landed the role of Rachel Zane in USA's hit series Suits. She was fantastic as the paralegal, turned, attorney Rachel, and the series only lasted one season after she left. Meghan has also been known to be outspoken against racism, being a mixed, race woman of color herself. Her stance on this matter was made even more crystal clear when she recently spoke out against the murder of George Floyd. Although she had been laying low since leaving the royal family and moving to Los Angeles with her husband and son, she spoke at the virtual commencement of her alma mater high school and addressed the murders and the issue of systemic racism. The media vilified Meghan, leading to her royal exit. The moment Meghan became engaged to the Duke of Sussex, the tabloids have treated her as a villain. This media treatment was in stark contrast to the adoration that Prince William's wife, Kate, received when she wed into the royal family, understandably making people wonder, were the attacks race-based? There were rumors that Meghan was a diva or that she didn't respect royal protocol, but these rumors were never backed up with fact. Most of the media attacks, describing Meghan using words like exotic and narcissistic, were barely suppressed racist tropes and have always been used to attack women of color. Because of this treatment, Meghan and her husband both decided to drop their royal duties and move to Los Angeles to raise their son, Archie. Meghan filed a lawsuit against two British tabloids for the attacks that they launched against her, which she claims harmed her health and emotional well-being during her pregnancy with Archie. Meghan says that the palace silenced her voice. A source recently revealed to people that Meghan was not only devastated by the media's attacks, but also by the palace's frustrating instructions on how to deal with untrue tabloid stories in a word, don't. The source shared, people actively prevented her from responding to stuff that we knew to be untrue, referring to the palace's no-comment approach to any gossip that was shared about any of the royal family members. Understandably, this left Meghan feeling like she wasn't allowed to protect herself from these vicious attacks. The source claimed, The go-to position at the palace was no comment or to ignore stories, and people actively prevented her from responding to stuff that we knew to be untrue. That is what she is taking issue with. Furthermore, the legal documents that were filed for the lawsuit against the media outlet state that Meghan felt unprotected by the institution and prohibited from defending herself from the false reports, which caused tremendous emotional distress and damage to her mental health. Another report, Prince Harry and Princess Beatrice's relationship explained. In a mood that might be considered a true sign of the times, Princess Beatrice and her fiancé, Eduardo Rapelli Mazzi, surprised the world after news of a secret wedding ceremony came to light on July 17, 2020, in lieu of the traditional royal family fair. As of this writing, public reaction has seemingly been positive. In fact, 
Brides.com went as far as to deem it the ultimate quarantine wedding. However, what's piqued our interest is the fact that certain notable names haven't been mentioned as having been in attendance, whether virtually or in person. May Palace statement read, The private wedding ceremony of Princess Beatrice and Mr. Eduardo McKelly, Mazi took place at 11 a.m. on Friday, 17th July, at the Royal Chapel of All Saints at Royal Lodge, Windsor. While the statement omitted whether Beatrice's father, Prince Andrew, who has been embroiled in various controversies, was in attendance, it listed other members of the royal family who were able to witness the nuptials. The small ceremony was attended by the Queen, the Duke of Edinburgh and close family. Spokespeople to the Windsors also made sure to emphasize that the ceremony took place in accordance with all relevant government guidelines. One royal pair who seemed to be missing from the roster, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. And the reason might have to do with Harry and Beatrice's relationship. Princess Beatrice's wedding fueled further speculation about her relationship with Prince Harry. At the time of this writing, there is no word on whether Prince Harry and Meghan Markle were able to witness Princess Beatrice's marriage to Eduardo Lopelli Mazi, who announced their engagement in September 2019. If neither the Duke or Duchess of Sussex or in any way a part of the ceremony, there's a chance it might have to do with a particular incident involving another family member entirely and an unfortunate snub. Rumors regarding whether Harry and Meghan would be in attendance for Beatrice's wedding began to circulate after the couple's infamous exit, while the ceremony was scheduled for May 2020 at the time. This was before the coronavirus pandemic. After all, some insiders contested that though the Sussexes had penciled in the May 29th date, they could have feasibly decided last minute to blow off the event. At that point, tensions might have already been in place pre Megxit due to another incident that took place during Harry and Meghan's own 2018 royal wedding, a glaring omission on their reception guest list who also happened to be Beatrice's mother. May pass snub might have strained Princess Beatrice and Prince Harry's relationship. Speculation over tensions between Prince Harry and Princess Beatrice stretch as far back as 2018. While she was invited to the actual wedding, Beatrice's mother, Sarah Ferguson, the Duchess of York, wasn't invited to Harry and Meghan's wedding reception. The reason? Well, it's not entirely clear. However, the decision might not have been in Harry or Meghan's hands to begin with. In a 2018 interview with Good Morning Britain, Ferguson opened up about Harry and Meghan's nuptials, wishing good tidings and expressing grief over the absence of Harry's mother, the late Princess Diana. Even though her name was absent from the reception guest list, during the interview Ferguson seemingly suggested it might have had very little to do with the newlyweds and everything to do with Queen Elizabeth II. Ferguson said, I think that Her Majesty is an incredible lady, and I think that Her Majesty leads by such example. So inclusive. To include me is a wonderful gesture. She also expressed that she felt very, very honored and grateful to be included in the ceremony itself. So, is there any basis for these rumors? Have Harry and Beatrice really had a falling out? At best, it seems to be pure speculation. Check out one of our newest videos right here, plus even more LMT videos about your favorite stuff. For coming soon, subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one. Don't stop.